Two adults near retirement age, a 200 mile plus trail going across Michigan. Let's walk this thing. This is Scott from My Life's Reward. A couple of Christmases ago, I asked my family uh, for a book. I put it on my gift list, and somebody actually bought it for me, and it was a uh, walk across Michigan. Very similar picture to uh, A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. I, I read through the book, and I thought, oh, this is interesting, and I mentioned it to my friend Fred, and he seemed very interested in doing it with me. So we've decided to participate in this uh, in October of this year. And uh, it's 215 miles across Michigan from Oscoda to Empire on this trail. We are certainly concerned about this also being a horse trail, not only a walking trail, it's a horse trail. And the horses would tend to loosen up the dirt on the trail and make it sandy and harder to walk. It's kind of imagine yourself walking maybe along a beach in loose sand. That maybe some of the trail, maybe a lot of the trail, we don't know, will be like this. And uh, so we are concerned about that. We are planning before we do this trip, uh, we are planning on scoping out some of the places along the trail where there doesn't seem to be either much clarity on what the camping arrangement could be or what a water source is. So we're gonna check those things out just to be a little bit more prepared and that will also allow us to check the trail conditions out in various parts along the trail. So I'm kind of sort of wondering, is the trail like this more on the west side because of the sand and the sand dunes, that sort of thing, and it's less like it on the majority of the trail towards the east, don't know. Um, we'll see. There's certainly sand all across Michigan, so good chance that a lot of the trail will be like that. But uh, I have watched some YouTube videos about this trail. There's a young lady that, I believe she started from Empire and started going from west to east. But uh, she started on the west side and went east and she did not enjoy the trip at all. Um, and she actually didn't um, want to finish it and she elected I believe to go up into the UP and do a different trail that she thought you know she would enjoy more so which which is you know I think that's great hike your own hike type of thing you know you only have so much time available and you want you should spend it the way you want it. so maybe we'll find the same thing in our uh, experience but maybe we won't uh, so um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the the book and the and the idea of what the cards look you know look like and how they work and uh, and then we'll we'll continue our conversation here. So. This book is A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. It's a book that was made into a movie about uh, two men that the author and another person that walked the Appalachian, part of the, App, I, well, a lot of the Appalachian Trail, I don't think the whole thing. So then you go over to this book here, and this is a walk across Michigan. You can see the kind of the similarities, I'll put them side by side. Will Schwartz is the name of the author. 
He is from Big Rapids, Michigan. And um, he also sells these index cards that go along. The book is more of an entertaining type experience. The experience that he had walking across Michigan and he wrote about it in a book. It's not really a guide. I think he's working on another book that's a guide to actually doing the trail with the particulars in it. In the meantime, he's got these cards here and um, a table of contents on one of the cards here and a, on a map of the whole trail there, which goes in various directions. And then this is a typical, like this would be what he would call day one. And, and then he has a description of the details about walking that uh, 14 miles there and then where you can find various resources and things and there are a whole bunch more cards here that uh, are part of that so that uh, that's the material there for the book and the um, index cards and then here is a Michigan Shorter, Tra Shorter Shore Trail Map Guide, and uh, just kind of flip in here. I mean, the first the first page is well, it's a table of contents, and then it has general trail guidelines here and symbols to look for that sort of thing. And then it goes into breaking down the various parts of the trail with the map, and you know, it has the key over here for the symbols of where you can find various things, whether they're watering holes like that right there, or a, a horse, a trail camp is what they're calling those, or I'm sure various other types of camps. So, um, so that's the material that I said I would share with you as far as uh, that information as to where I referenced everything from so to wrap this video up uh, one last thing I wanted to talk about was doing some daily videos as I'm doing the the walk or the hike and my plan is to do about an 8 to 10 minute video per day we plan on spending about 11 days to do the 215 to 235 miles we're not it, we think it's going to be somewhere in that distance range and uh, and then I would uh, try to post those and have those scheduled so one comes out per day and uh, and then at the end uh, once the trip is done then I want to kind of sit back and do a wrap-up video of some sort that just explains the experience overall and uh, and just kind of you know put some sort of a, um, some closure to to the adventure. So that's my plan. I, I do plan on using my iPhone, which is an iPhone 12 Pro, V, v Pro or Pro. And um, I, I was going to use uh, iMovie, but I'm going to use LumaFusion on, on my phone. Fred and I did come up with uh, one last idea before our scouting trip that we're going to be doing uh, here in the next couple of days. And that is uh, rather than carrying a full backpack weight with uh you know the tent the sleeping system the food and then having people have to drop us off and pick us up and maybe do in between um resupplies we're going to uh take two vehicles and we're going to sort of vehicle hop from you know point the starting point to the first 20 miles, then the next 20 miles, and so on, and just bring our vehicles along with us. And that will allow us to have some things that we might not otherwise be able to have and also give us options as we're going along the trail to resupply and do that ourselves. So uh, we still are, you know, we're walking the whole distance across Michigan, and we are going to still have packs um, it's just more kind of a slack pack type of a thing where we just have what we need for the day as we're walking. 
Also, I am bringing my dog, Pixie, a golden retriever, and she has a pack, and it, it allows her to also have a lighter pack rather than somewhere around a 10-pound pack or an 8-pound pack. It can be more like a 4-pound pack. And uh, she's only a 60-pound dog, and that's well within the limits. They recommend about 25% or less, and uh, that's way less than that. And I think that'll be very comfortable for her. So she's essentially just going to carry her own water and then a, a collapsible water dish. And uh, she actually likes to carry the backpack. She enjoys it. Uh, when she has it put on, she knows she's going for an adventure. And, uh, you know, it's just it's fun for her. So that's our plan. And uh, we're looking very much forward to it. And uh, so... Please uh, stick around on the channel and check out the first video that comes out. And, uh, and then there, will be, there should be a video that comes out every day after as long as I'm able to connect and get that uh, stuff up there on the, uh, on the internet. So thanks for stopping by the channel, checking this video out, and taking an interest in this topic. If you are looking to do something like this, I hope this video would help you in some way and the videos to follow as far as trying to understand what things look like when walking across the state on the STS trail. So, so until next time, take care. Thank you.